Hello again guys and welcome to my channel. Now today we will be we will be taking a look at the collect a reticulated giraffe. Okay, not a dinosaur but a giraffe. Now first and foremost this figure it's excellent, the details are sharp and let's take a closer look at this figure. Now first of all, let's take a look at the head. The hair, wait, 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 gotta get this thing to focus. Ah, oh, come on. She just don't want to focus. Alright, there you go. The head is extremely detailed. The nose is nicely sculpted. The orifices are nicely sculpted. Nice black eyes with a gloss to them. A wet look. Nicely shaped head. I would say maybe the ears are a bit too large, but they're like quite goofy looking from the front. And then the ossicones, nicely sculpted. Now the whole figure, as you guys can see, has that furry texture. Okay, not too bad. Definitely see the details. And then you see some of the fur on the back of the neck here. Yes. The reticulated pattern, the paint on the figure is also excellent. Excellent from Collector as usual. I mean, the paint almost looks like it's computer printed, man. I mean, the outlines are so sharp. I don't know if a man can do it or not. Now we reach near the nice long muscular neck. Look at that muscular shoulder. Shoulder and chest sticks out. The muscle and the nice long lanky legs, two hooves, even toed ungulate is what they call it. And a nice short abdomen. Again, the details are so sharp, it looks like it's computer printed. I'm guessing it is. And the rear foot, slightly elevated to make it look like the animal is walking. There you go. And look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice furry tip of the tail. And if you look from below, you can definitely tell that this animal is a male. Yes, it's a male. Nice long legs again. The painting is top notch. Very nice transition of colors here. But I would say maybe the, again, the deck, the markings are a bit too sharp. <coughs> but looks good. That chest, look at that, it sticks out. I don't know why. And back to the head and back to the neck. Back to the ossicones, the head on the other side. Wet look in the nose and the eyes as well. Now this figure, let me tell you guys, I bought this figure because... This figure is an excellent piece. In my opinion, it is the best giraffe figure in this scale. Why do I say that? Because I feel like the patterns and the details of this animal is much sharper than ones from other makes. Definitely represents a handsome animal. And the best thing is that according to my measurements, this giraffe is roughly 1 to 35th scale. So I can pose it next to most of my dinosaur figures. And it would be about accurately sized. Which is really good. So I measured the animal from tip of snout. I mean from tip of the lips to the tip of the tail. Along the spine 26 centimeters long or 10 inches long. And then from the tip of the ossicones to the ground. 17 centimeters tall or 6.7 inches that would equate to an animal that is almost 20 feet tall about almost 6 meters tall which is slightly larger than the height of the tallest male giraffe measured which is about 5.88 meters tall but alas it's quite close so scales quite well with my dinosaur figures now let me put 
the giraffe next to a figure that most have there you go the triceratops now unlike my other models you can see the triceratops pretty much outsizes the giraffe and they are about scale so that's good it's the triceratops is just so much bulkier than the giraffe it's crazy to think that an animal, the giraffe is the tallest terrestrial living animal today and then when you put a triceratops next to it, it just dwarfs it except for height of course now I would highly recommend this giraffe figure because this figure is awesome it's detailed, it's affordable it is sized to scale to most dinosaur the more common scales which is the 1 to, th one to 35th and 1 to 40th scale uh, figures of dinosaurs so okay guys thank you for watching and if you have any questions hit me up below goodbye